Hey guys, it's Ben from Media to Play Games, and today I want to give you my cell deck profile. Um, I was going to give you a, like a Sun Gohan uh, deck profile, but I just feel like the cell just does so much more in, in the current meta right now. Um, so if you guys don't know who cell is, cell you can dish a card from your hand, put it under it, and then you can. Um, and then you can pop something with three or less. So it's really good for the early game. Um, and on his uh, flip side, he's really strong too. Uh, you can track a card under him. You can draw two. So instead of like attacking and getting your draw off him, uh, you just get you just track a card under him and get the draw. And then you can discard two from under it, and then you can pop something on the field. Doesn't matter how strong it is. So um, I'm playing this tricolor, technically quad color, because you know black is now a color. And um, I, I really like this deck, it has a lot of removal, has a lot of early game, and has a lot of late game as well. Um, so yeah, let's go into it. Of course, you know, we play this team, the Blue Engine. Um, you play three results of training. Um, I was playing this today, it actually didn't come up that great for me. I, I, like, I relied too much on these. It feels like you need to mulligan into them if you want to actually get anywhere with result training, because you can just draw it too late game, and then it just sucks. I uh, play three Bean. I think I might um, bump it up by taking out a KO or something. Um, just four beans just amazing in the meta. Uh, four coercion, best negate in the game, hands down. And three objection. Uh, I think three objection is just the standard everyone's going for right now. Um, like if you play four, I know with Cell Leader you can just like chuck it under, but it still can brick you a bit too much. Getting one off early game is good. Uh, I play the one Sun Goten. Uh, we'll get into it why later on down the track. Um, because you know, he's searchable if you know what it is. Uh, of course, the 410k pumps. Insane strong card. So this is where we go into the green engine. So I'm actually choosing to play the new psyched up Gotenks um, engine with it. Uh, it's very strong, has a lot of removal, uh, it gives you the extra draw power. So I play two of the unified uh, spirit Sun Goten. So if you don't know this card, when this card attacks, you can look at the top seven of your deck and you can add a trunks to hand. So that's including these trunkses, that's including these trunkses, and it's also including the red trunkses as well. Really strong. Um, I play two of the green trunks. I usually don't get his effect off uh, a lot because, you know, usually Cell Leader just does that by itself. But pretty much, um, you can, when this attacks, you can reveal a Sun Go 10 from hand and then you can pop something with three or less on the field. It's pretty strong, it's all right. Um, but I usually don't get it off. I usually get it for the search for mana. Um, so yeah, that's for these here. Uh, they both have the same effect. Uh, once per turn, or activate main, you can return to hand. So you can swing with them, then add them back to hand. It's really strong. Um, so I play the four Super Saiyan uh, Gotenks, the five drop, insane card. I love this card. Um, very insane. Uh, you know, it, it like, Mecha Freeze isn't seeing a lot of play right now, so you, like these aren't getting cold bloodlusted. Um, very strong. So I play two and two for this. Um, I still play three Kale. I find Kale's really strong. Um, like he's not really like I'm not really getting him off a lot for like you know the criticals anymore or the draw power because usually I just go like with a Mars Saiyan. I go like sum this Mars Saiyan, pop a few things, and then pop like then bring this out and pop this with it. It's a really strong combo. Like think about it, it's like ten mana that you're getting off the board for free pretty much, or for five mana. Um, and yeah, of course the MVP you have psyched up very things. So if you don't know this, uh, you can. Cast for four if you want. It is two green, uh, cost six. Uh, cost six. So if you have a Sun Go Go Ten engrave, draw two. If you have a Sun Go uh, uh, Trunks on engrave, you get to pop a card. Really strong. Um, of course, you can also use it for Union Fusion, where you can ditch two Sun Go Ten and Sun Trunks, or not Sun Trunks. Uh, from hand to the drop area, you still get the effects and everything. So if, to get his effects, you have to have these in the drop area. Um, I know it kind of counteracts, you know, playing the, the Mars Saiyans because you know, uh, like when you warp, you have to remove your entire uh, drop. But that's okay because usually I've just been putting them under the cell leader. So just chuck it under this, get the warp off, and then ditch them later. It's really strong. Um, so this is where it kind of gets a little bit different. I'm just playing Bubbly Engine again. Um, Mecha Freeze in single play, so why not play it? Uh, like, I've been curving this out just on turn 6 and still winning, because I'm usually like blocking early game. Um, I only play 2 because it's kind of like you don't want to mana them to show your opponent that you're actually playing them. You see them late enough, you see them early enough. 
and that's it about Barbity. If you don't know Barbity, uh, when you play this six mana, put top seven in your deck, play two red cards that were 2,500 or less. Very strong card. I remember uh, when Goku Black was topping for a while, it was insane. Um, I played the Mighty Mask engine, of course. Mighty Mask engine, uh, two drop. Uh, so you swing with it, uh, then you can tribute it, search a Sun Goten and, and the trunks. That means you can search these trunks, it means you can search this Goten. Usually you want to search this one first, but you can also search the red ones as well. Very strong. Um, I play two of the Sun Goten Red and two Trunks. Um, actually, they just use them for mana. Uh, they do have a neat ability where you can like ditch one from hand and, and another battle card, and, like search like a, a, um, a Gotenks. So you can search these Gotenks, you can search these Gotenks, you can search these Gotenks. Very strong. Um, I have been getting it off a lot recently with the current meta, but I, I, I've been getting it off like earlier. Um, I play three Jiren, and I play three uh, Ghost Tanks. So usually you just get these off the um, the Bubbity and um, like maybe late game, early game. Uh, Jiren's a very strong card. When this card attacks, you can stand it. Uh, attacks a battle card, you can stand it. Goes to 30k, you can swing leader. And Ghost Tanks, amazing card. On summon, plays three Ghost Tokens and I've got like my own Cell, uh, cell Junior Ghost Tokens because of Cell of course. Um, and if you have four or less cards in hand, fire kind of late game you usually have that. Uh, they gain double strike. Very strong with this as well. So um, as far as the deck goes, it has a lot of removal targets. So you've got the Bardocks, you've got the Kaos, you've got the Jirens, you've got the Gotenks, and of course the leader at the end of the day just removes everything. Um, I've find, found that it's very, like, the curve for everything's okay. Um, there isn't anything I'd really change out, maybe just the upping the Sensu Bean and taking out the one Kale. But like having this combo and this combo is very strong. Um, so with the deck, usually you want to rely on your like your red engine early, get your Mask Saiyans off, tribute them off, then maybe like rely on your green engine. So going with like Go Tanks and all like Kale and Mask Saiyan, and then late game of course Bubbity, Jiren, and your Ghost Tanks. Um, but you can switch that over with kind of what decks you're versing as well. If you're versing like early game decks like Vegeta, you can just like ditch all these guys. There's a lot of like 5k drops in the deck, so it's very, very, very strong against that. Um, and of course late game, we've got a lot of late game including these and these. And yeah, that's it for the deck profile. Um, I love the deck, um, you know, playing Cell these days, very strong, and I feel like it's going to change the meta a bit. Um, and yeah, that's it for the video. Give us a like and subscribe down below, and see you next video.